Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to make a quick wanted poster using the built-in functions in Photoshop Elements 10. This is what we're going to make right here. This is one of the uh, wanted posters that I got off the internet and this is what I created using the built-in tools from Photoshop Elements 10. So let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and revert this image back to the original one that I had. Okay, there we go. First off, I need to thank Pookie Beach over at Flickr for letting me use this image under the Creative Commons license. So now that we have our picture opened in Photoshop Elements, I'm going to jaunt over here to the guided tour real quick. And then I'm going to scroll down until I find the one that says line drawing right there. And then we're going to click the word pencil sketch right there, and then it's going to create a great pencil sketch right there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down a little bit over there and I'm going to click on the word levels just to give it a little bit more punch. Now after I'm done with the guided tour I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to select full edit. That way we can go in there and do all sorts of cool things with it. Now that we have our line drawing finished here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to merge this layer down with this other layer. So I'm going to do a command or a control E and that's going to merge the layer down. The next thing I'm going to do is go over where it says filter under the filter menu I'm going to select adjust and then I'm going to select the gradient map right there. Now what we need to do is we need to convert this into that burnt paper image there so I'm going to double click on there so that I can adjust this and convert this into a nice brown one. So I'm going to click on the black right there and then I'm going to change the color. Now I have these colors written down so I'm going to go ahead and put those on the description on the bottom of this video. This is the darker color right here 3F3105 so I'm just going to copy that and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change that color and I'm going to put it in right there. Now that's the dark brown color that we're looking for right there. And then I'm going to change the white color, the lighter color right there. I'm going to click on it. I need to go over here and look and see what the numbers are. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And once again, I need to move that over a little bit more. Click on that right there. And then I'm going to change that number to BF9D5F. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and select OK right there. Once I have these colors, I'm going to select OK, and then I'm going to select OK one more time. And there we have kind of the picture that we're looking for. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little bit more contrast. So we're going to go over here under the Enhance menu. We're going to go to Adjust Lighting, and we're going to go to the Brightness and Contrast. Now once we get there, of course, we're going to slide this over. We're going to give it just a tiny bit more contrast there to give it kind of that burnt, edgy look right there. And then we're going to go and select OK. So now that we've kind of got this pencil sketch. Now of course this one was a little bit dark so the pencil sketch didn't come out quite well but if you have another picture I'm sure it'll turn out just a little bit better. Now what we need to do is we need to go over here under the content tab right over here it's next to the one that says effects. If you don't see that you can come over to the window and then select content and then get this content tab right there. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to go by type click the down arrow and click by type and then we're going to select from the down arrow we want frames. Now go ahead and scroll down. This one is called, let me hover over it, brown paper sepia right there. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and then we're going to select apply. And what that's going to do is it's going to superimpose our image on top of that sepia. Now you notice right off the bat that it puts this thing in a landscape mode and I'm not exactly sure why it does that. But first, first off we're going to go in here and we're going to adjust the size of this picture and we're going to rotate it like this. And how we rotate that is we go near the corner over here. It turns into the little round double-headed arrow. And then we swing that around. Now we need to have a little bit of room so that we can type the word wanted on there. So I'm going to resize by grabbing the corners over there, making it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to twist this. Now when I'm happy with where it's at and when I'm happy with it lined up like this, I'm going to click the green checkbox right there. 
Now what we need to do is we need to go over on the Move tool, make sure that we have our Show Bounding Box option selected right there. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to rotate the whole thing. So go ahead and go really close to this right hand box right here and you'll see it turn into that rounded double headed arrow and now we're going to move and we're going to rotate the whole image and then we're going to resize it on top of our paper so I'm going to go ahead and do that I'm going to resize this whole thing and there we have it and when I'm happy with that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tick the green checkbox right there so now we're done with the actual ripped burnt type paper right there and our picture now we need to go over into the text box right over here go ahead and click the text box I went over and used the Postino standard right there but you want to pick a font that looks kinda cowboyish or maybe old western style but I picked this one right here and then I have my caps locks on I'm gonna go ahead and select center text right there I'm gonna go ahead and click here and I'm gonna type the word wanted now, it typed it in black, so I'm going to go over and I'm going to go to my layer right here, double click the layer, and then what I want to do is change the color, and we want to change it to that color that we had before, and that was 3F3105, right there, 3F3105, so you just type that in the bottom box there, 3F3105, and select OK. There is our brown color right there. So there is our brown color now. The next thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that the move tool right there and the show bounding box is checked and we want to rotate this so that it kind of matches up with the top of the picture right there. Go ahead and do that. There we go. Wanted. And then I'm going to put a reward at the bottom. So I'm going to click on the text tool once again and type in there $5,000 reward cow tipper there we go and once again click on the move tool make sure the show bounding box is checked and we're going to rotate this just a little bit there and when we're happy there we go and there is our wanted poster like I said this picture isn't the greatest when it converted over to the pencil sketch but hopefully yours looks a little bit better than that if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my videos give me a thumbs up give me a like give me a favorite and pass my link on to your friends cheers